welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I wanted to come in here and share a little haul with you guys. I have some products that I recently purchased from Tarte. Tarte had kind of like their 16th anniversary or 16th, yeah I think their 16th birthday actually. The sale they had on their website so I went on and I purchased a couple things. I made a couple different orders to be honest with you. So let me show you everything that I picked up and then I'm going to actually use these products for about, I'm going to use them for a couple weeks and then I'll let you guys know my thoughts and my opinions on these products whether or not I think that they're worth actually picking up if you're interested in these items. So let's go through the first box here. The first box I have a lot of lip products. So the first box I have a Tarte High Performance Naturals Amazonian Butter Double Ended Lip Tint and Cream. Gloss Cream. I don't know. That's a lot of words. I have two of those. I have the shades of Rosy Mauve and Natural Peach. So here are what the shades actually look like on the containers. And then I will pull them out so you can see them. So this is Rosy Mauve. So what they are is at the bottom here they have like a lip gloss and at the top it's a lipstick. So you have a combination of both so that you can use either or with you. Like if you're taking these with you in your purse, they'd be perfect to travel with. They're kind of large though to be honest with you. They're pretty big like as in lengthwise. So I'm actually surprised because I hadn't seen these yet. So I'm actually surprised how big they are and, and like the length of them. So here's what this one looks like. This one again is Rosy Mauve. And let's do a little swatch. Oh, it's just like a, almost like a sheer. So here it is on my hand swatch. It's like a sheer finish. And then let's swatch the gloss. And the gloss swatches, oh, again, just, it's very sheer. It's a very sheer formula. So if you're someone who likes a more natural, sheer looking finish, I think you would enjoy these. And which that's honestly what I like. I like something a little more natural, sheer looking, even though today I do have a, on a bolder lip. I just like the more sheer most of the time. The next one is the Natural Peach. And Natural Peach looks like this. Ooh, that's a very, very light color. So here's Natural Peach. And then I'll swatch that. So... They look very similar. Here's Natural Peach, and then that was Rosy Mauve. So let's see what the gloss looks like. See if it has any more pigmentation to it, or whether it's the same thing where it's like a, uh, a sheer gloss. Yep, they're both very sheer. This one's actually more sheer than the other one was. So here's the lipstick and the gloss for the peach one, and then this is the Rosy Mauve, the lipstick and the gloss. So I'm excited to try them. I've never tried them before, so I thought I'd pick up two of them. I can't remember how much they were. They were very inexpensive though during their sale. I was really tickled to pick them up at the price that they had on their website. And if you are a member of, Ulta, I'm not Ulta, but Ipsy, then they also had a code that you can use that, because Ipsy has deals through different companies. And Ipsy had a code that you can also enter with it. I think it was like 20% off extra of whatever their sale price was. So I got these for a fantastic deal. The next product is the Energy Noir uh, Lip Surgeon Skin Intuitive Lip Gloss. And I have the shade Energy Noir. So let's see what this looks like. And this is like a purple little container here. And then let's swatch it. I think this is the one. Oh, it, what the heck? It came out black. Did you see the black streak in there? That's really weird. Is this no good? I don't know. This one's kind of freaking me out a little bit. It's got black in it. Mmm. I don't know about that one. That one I may have to contact Tarte about that because that just doesn't look right. I'm not sure I want to put that on my lips because I had black in it. That just, that looks kind of gross to be honest with you. And then with my order I did get two free samples. I got a Tarte High Performance Naturals Rainforest of the Sea little sample pack. I really do like this foundation and I figured these little sample packs would be great to travel with. And then I got the Tarte uh, what is this called? The Tarte High Performance Naturals. What is this? Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. So here's a little finishing powder that I got for free with my order. So that is everything that came in that order. The next order, I told you I took, made a couple different orders here. The next one I picked up, I blush. And this is in the shade Risque. So here's what it looks like. It's a very, it looks like a nude blush. Oh my gosh, these are so hard to get out of their packaging. I'm going to need some scissors here. There we go. Oh my gosh. I can't get it out. So here is what the actual shade looks like. 
it's a very nudie peach color. So I'm excited to try that one out. Let me swatch it one time. Oh, that's really pretty. That's a really pretty shade there. Oh yeah, I'm excited to have that. The next item I picked up is, oh, there's some more blushes on here. I have three more blushes. I have Seduce and Sensual. So here is Sensual. I think this was part of their, what is this part of, what line was this? I think it was their their nude blo their nude line. I can't remember what it's called, but they have like a nude line, and I'm pretty sure it was part of that. So this is sensual. Oh my gosh, I should have got these out beforehand. I didn't realize how hard they were going to be to get out of the packaging. So sensual looks like this. It's more of a a lighter peach. So that's sensual, and I'll swatch that one. That one's more of like a skin tone, to be honest with you. So that's sensual right here. Another blush, and then I picked up also the Seduce. Seduce. I can't remember what this line was called. If anybody knows what this line was called, let me know below because I can't remember it. It was something nude. I can't remember. It doesn't say it on here. It just says the 12 hour blush formula. So, and that's like the best formula that they have. And this one again is Seduce. So here is Seduce. They look very similar. All three of them do, to be honest with you. So here, let's swatch that one. But they all swatch very differently. They all have a completely different tone to them. I don't know if you can tell that or not, but they all have a little bit of a different tone to them. So I'm excited to have all of those. I really do like nude, nudie blushes because I think they look the best on my cheeks and that's something you can't go wrong with if you wear a dark eye, you wear a vampy lip, you wear a nude blush and you're good to go. The next item I picked up is another, no, what is this? This is a lip sculptor, lipstick and lip gloss. No, I picked up another one. And I picked up the shade Sass. So I have three of those now. Oh, this the, the tubing looks different. So here's what this one looks like. And this is in the shade Sass. So let's see if we can swatch this. Oh, that one's really pretty. I like that one the most so far. <laughs> really like that color. Let's see about the lip gloss. Ah, oh, the lip gloss is okay. It's just a lip gloss, to be honest with you. It's not... When you tilt it in different lights, it looks different. It's almost like a highlighting lip gloss. That's pretty cool. And another lip gloss. We picked up the shade VIP. So VIP, and it has the same container as the, the previous one. So here is VIP. And then let's swatch it. Oh, that one's kind of melted. So there's VIP right here in the corner. I really like that color, though. It's like a nude, like a mauve like a nude mauve it's really pretty and let's swatch the lip gloss right above it oh no that lip gloss is very pigmented here's a lip gloss that has a lot of pigment to it so i'm excited to try all of these lippies out now i really do like all these how they're dual ended how you have a lip gloss and you have a lipstick all in one so that if whichever you're preferring to wear the day or you can wear both so that is everything that came in that order two boxes down one to go like I said, they had a great sale and I wanted to grab a lot of stuff because I really do like a lot of Tarte products. So, oh, I did get, with my order, I did get another one of these. So I have an extra one of those now. And then I picked up the Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. So this is a little primer from Tarte. That's what the box looks like. And here is the actual container. Oh, it's like, uh, what is that called? Oh, that looks really neat in the container. I like that. So that's like, I can't remember what you call that. It's like, um, oh my gosh, frosted glass. I think this is glass. This looks like a frosted glass container. That's really nice. I've not tried that primer before, so if you guys have ever tried that primer, let me know your thoughts and your opinions on that primer, whether or not it's good or bad, or what kind of skin type it's good for also. That'd be very helpful to know. And I got another one of the, um, I got actually got two more of the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation samples. Then I also got a Tartist Lash Paint Mascara. This was a sample that I got for free. They had lots of free little samples. Then I picked up the Air Blush in Shimmering Pink. So here's a blush, and this is called an Air Blush. I don't think I've ever tried one of the Air Blushes before. <sighs> These packagings are so hard to get out. Oh, the container to this is gorgeous. I don't know if you can see it or not. 
Hopefully you don't see my umbrella lighting too much. You see this instead. That's really pretty. I like the container. Holy smokes, that's some bright pink. Is this like cream? Hmm. It feels like cream. There's what it looks like. It feels like a cream formula. But there's what it looks like swatched. It's really pretty. So I'm excited to try that out. Guys, my battery is, actually not my battery, but my camera's overheating, so just hang on one second. I'll be right back so we can finish this haul, because I do have a, quite a bit more to share with you guys. There's still quite a bit in my box, so just hang tight. Okay, so hopefully my battery has calmed down now. It's not acting up like crazy anymore, so it's cooled down. Now we have some another blush. I got another air blush, and this one is in the shade Shimmering Poppy. So let's see what this one looks like. This one looks very bright, so if the other one was bright and the packaging looked like that at the top, this one's a shimmering poppy. I'm excited to see how bright this one can be. How much brighter can you go? Again, it's got that really gorgeous packaging on the outside. Oh, and this one's actually a little bit, I mean, it's, it's still bright, but it's like an orange. I thought I smelled something, but I don't think it is. I think it's just the packaging, actually. So there is what that one looks like. That is shimmering poppy. That is some bold blush. I think those are good. They'd be good for like winter months because I feel like a cream formulation and they, I think they'd be good for winter when your skin's already dry and you don't want to put any blush on it to like accentuate your dryness. They'd be good for that. Then I picked up a, a Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Medium. So I have a little concealer here. So here's what the actual concealer looks like. So I'm excited to try that out and let you guys know whether or not I think it's a good formula or not. Especially for me with my dry skin and my dry under eyes. Whether or not that works since it's full coverage. Then I picked up two brushes. I picked up the um, retoucher and the little airbrusher. So here are the two brushes that I picked up. I'll open those later and actually wash them and try them out and see how good they are and let you guys know when I come back on here to do a complete review on everything that I purchased. And then the last item I have in here is a little set. And here is what, actually what the set looks like. This is the big box that came in. And this has a lot of stuff in it. It says the Discover High Performance Naturals Color Collection. So it's in the box. And then it comes in this cute little bag here. And then when you open it up, it has a lot of great stuff in here. We have an, a brush at the top. Wait, let me see if I can show you without dropping everything. It's all starting to come out of here, up here. So here's what it looks like when you open it. It's got a palette. It's got a foundation. It's got a foundation brush. It's got a... I think that's an eyeshadow brush, a rule bender, I'm not sure, a mascara, and then it also has an eyeliner. So this looks like a really nice set, I thought so, and it was a great deal. I think I got it for like 30 bucks. It was really inexpensive after the discounts and everything. Oh, and it's a lipstick in here too, so it's a foundation brush and a lipstick. So there's a lipstick. So I'll show you what the palette looks like, but as for the rest of it, I'll kind of review it when I go back over this little haul here and let you guys know my final thoughts and opinions on everything that I picked up. So here is what the actual palette looks like. What's the palette called? I don't know. It just says eye and cheek palette. So here's what the actual palette looks like. It's really pretty. It's got some really nice colors in here. So I'm excited to try this out and see how good it is. I like when they include a blush like that because then you can kind of just take this with you. You've got your eyes and your blush and you're good to go. So that's pretty cool. And I really do like the setup of this, how it's got everything included in here. I think that's really neat. So I'm excited to try all these products out and then come back on here in a couple weeks and let you guys know how these products work for me and whether or not I could recommend them to you guys. So let me know if you tried any of these products and your thoughts and your opinions on them, whether or not you like them they, or they worked for you or they didn't work for you. I'd love to know either way. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.